Hey everyone, Edgy Berserker back with BG2, Boat of the Cabalistic Goddess. All right, we left off with Taru uh, Tarumi. <laughs> now we're on to Ayako. Ayako, the disco queen. Doing what she keen. I don't know why I said that. Whatever. Point is, I gotta figure out how to play her now. Okay. Uh, are you a charge character, maybe, Ayako? Oh, you're a charge character. Shit. Dancing queen, young and free. Only 20 teen. Alright, that's fine. I'll just have to use her disco capoeira, I guess. Sure, that's what she does. Disco capoeira. I mean, she might not be a charge character like I thought. Hmm. Well, her normals are decent enough, I guess. So you figure out how to use her spinnies. That's okay. Good job, Ayako. I don't trust myself, so we're safe stating, boy. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> okay. Oh. Dragon Quest is a really good game. <laughs> I got stressed out and just had to mention that Dragon Quest is really good. <laughs> Ooh, speaking of channels, because I was talking about like art channel last time I was recording this. I might, uh, not might, I will be uh, working on the Twitch one for uh, my live streams from Twitch, just to have it as like a different like streaming platform thing. That way, you know, I could have the two not mixed up. And that way, YouTube streams don't get mixed up with the Twitch streams, and you know. <laughs> ba ba. Oh, she has the Sophia slaps. It's funny because, like, even though you know it slaps, they don't really animate her slapping, which is so funny. <laughs> oh. Hey, Ayako, you got some decent stuff on the most part, though. Wish I knew how to do your moves. Oh, I know how to do that move. Okay. Oh, fucking sweet. Okay. Ooh. <laughs> I tricked her. Let's just do our little slappy slaps that do nothing. <laughs> well, I it does something, but I mean it looks like I don't do anything. <laughs> I love it. Oh god, good job, Ayako. <laughs> I like Ayako. <laughs> I don't know how to play her with shit, but she's a cool character. <laughs> I actually like a lot of the characters in this series. <laughs> I, got, I got to know them because I watched the OVA. <laughs> and it's cool. You know what? This game's cool. I like it. I like it. Even though it started off as a humble little hentai game, the fact that it got serious around the end before uh, losing the IP and becoming a shitty hentai, um, <laughs> I enjoy it. <laughs> we don't talk about VG2. <laughs> or VG3. <laughs> we talk about VG2, that's what we're playing right now. <laughs> but the best part is you can just make it a legit fighter and you don't have to worry about the porn. Kind of miss the little animation intro for every character though, but again, finale, we'll just do... I'll take a hit on the uh, ad rev and I'll describe what is happening on screen. <laughs> Because even talk about uh, explicit sex stuff means that you're going to lose your um, monetization. And I'm surprisingly have really good accurate rating on that. So I'm going to keep it that way. So that means then if I rate my own shit, they're going to like be like, oh, this person's trustworthy enough to leave them at their own devices. So yeah. <laughs> now we're green. Oh my god. That took out way more than mine. <laughs> Bum, 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 bum. You saw me hovering over that safe state. But yeah. <laughs> but we don't have to worry about that though, because we still got two other characters before the finale, which would be character number three. I just think it's really neat though that, like, how far I went with this. And you know what? I'm glad I covered it. Because sometimes you gotta cover the weird adult games. Like, I know one that I'll never cover is Battle... Uh, R-word. 
Um, but funny enough, if I could get it to work, Battle R Word 2 is it doesn't contain any R, <laughs> which is good. <laughs> But it's like a Soul Calibur ripoff? But you only get like four characters? <laughs> Maybe to play? That's kind of lame. <laughs> oh, anyways. <laughs> boom, boom. <laughs> that, that would be one that's like, mm, I don't know. Maybe I. <laughs> Maybe I might do Super Strip Fighter 4, but uh, I don't know about that. <laughs> I like to get my hands on Death Cargo, but I'm not willing to go down the Russian Dark Web for that one. <laughs> Plus, uh, aren't they gonna like demonetize people's like channels for just showing it? <laughs> Saying I was pirated. Oh, Jesus, half the stuff we can't play anyway, so <sighs> whatever. I mean, okay, if there was a liable way, a reliable way for me to play, like, these advanced variable geos, I would. Uh, that said, I did buy VG2 and, uh, like, advanced VG2 and advanced VG1 off the PlayStation Store in Japan. So, I made sure they got the dollar dollar, because they fucking deserve it. Those are great games. Seriously. Play them. If you have a Vita that plays from the Japanese store, or a PS3... And a Japanese account, and you do get those like classic games. I highly recommend Advanced Variable Geo One and Two. They're honking great games. And I think they have the Asuka, like all the Asuka 120% type games on there as well. That's one I plan on covering at some point. That one has like almost like Marvel vs. Capcom style feeling of gameplay, which is crazy. <laughs> They have a lot of weird, like, fighting games, though. I, I might actually do a full playthrough of Slam Masters, and I did that as a one-off, and I did not like that game. <laughs> but I'm willing to give it another chance in the sense of covering it character by character. By character. <laughs> I hit my hand on my desk, because now I'm not on my glass desk. So you're not going to hear me hit metal or make a horrible noise. <laughs> Now I moved it to a proper computer table and my art table is finally my art table again. It's kind of funny though because when I draw on my Galaxy tab, I use my art table. <laughs> it's just more comfy that way. I can adjust it. The different angles is great. Freaking great. Actually, Jesus, I think I know how to set up the stream. Uh account now. I was just thinking like, oh, design-wise, da-da-da. Because I also do, I have a logo actually for a new Edgy Plays logo too. Just gonna make sure it's not been used in other ways, but I think it's clever. I don't know if it is. <laughs> but we'll see. Just because it'd be easier to lay out the title cards too, funny enough. Because the one I have was just whipped together. <laughs> like, fun fact! Graphic, de graphic design is my passion, but for myself and my own branding, I friggin' uh... I just used like, you know, slapped it together. Yeah, good enough. Put on angle. Great. It's like sticker perfect. <laughs> Instead of like actually thinking about it. <laughs> Go figure, right? Oh boy. Oh. You know what? I should put to a vote actually. Because I know I just had someone say, Aw, I want to see you play other types of games again. But, uh, the reason for that is, well, it's easy to stream the other types, but it also, fighting games are easier on me, like, workload-wise. So, that, like, for instance, if I lose an episode on a JRPG, I would have to go back and do all that stuff all over again. And in some cases, if it's, like, an older game, I'd have to do the voices again, you know? But, if it were, like, a fighting game... I maybe lost 10 to 20 minutes of my time as opposed to an hour <laughs> so in that sense you gotta understand another reason why I'm not doing um, you know 
certain. Oh god. Raimi. Uh, that's why I'm not doing certain types of games anymore because it, like, again, also the <sighs> monetization shouldn't be the only reason, but they are my least viewed things. As much as, like, I have fun playing JRPGs and talking about them, they are my least well re received things because a lot of people just want to see the fighting games. So, yeah, that's where that conundrum comes in. <laughs> Speaking of conundrums, I'll be back. I got my ass kicked. Got her! That took a while. <laughs> oh, but that's okay. Because, uh, you know what? My mouse was in the way. Sorry. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> it's fine. It's just PC. Whatever. It's fine. Okay, let's just do a save state right now. Just so I don't fluff myself over. <laughs> oh god, it's Satomi. <laughs> I don't know how to do moves. <laughs> Oh, okay, that's the uppercut motion. Okay, cool. Do we have other moves? Oh, you do. Uh, opposite has this one. Okay. Oh my god, I just figured out like her moves like halfway into this playthrough. <laughs> of course, it's against the hardest character in the game. <laughs> Somehow the computer knows all her moves. <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> Anyways. Oh, okay. Still, let's just talk about Robert Garcia enjoying his breakfast. Well, the upsetting looking monkey man is just sitting by him. Hanging out. <laughs> God, just do the move. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, that one's like a rising tackle in a way. Very inefficient. Oh my god. If there's anyone who reads your inputs, it's Satomi. I'll be back. <laughs> Got her! That was actually planeless. Which was nice, because she's hard. <laughs> she's actually a very difficult character to fight against. I always bitch about her every time. So now you know. <laughs> Anyways, I just made her go, ooh. <laughs> it's all good. We got this. You know what? Save state, because. Funny enough, against Raimi only took long because your girl, Edgy, over here, um, had hit the save state thing. Not the save state, but the uh, load state, and I was like two characters behind her for that match, so I had to. Redo it in that sense. That's why that took so long. And that's why I'm like suddenly paranoid about making sure I save at the start of each match. Even if they're going well. <laughs> oh my god. Ah, okay, got her. And save state. <laughs> so that second round is always a bitch. <laughs> Some characters I have an easier time with others, but... Like, granted, Satomi is definitely one of my weaknesses next to Ayako, but it's nice that I don't have to uh, fight Ayako, you know? Because I'm playing her. It's kind of nice. <laughs> oh, I can't do the motion. Ooh. There we go. It's how you... Okay. I think it's how you input it. There's like a certain rhythm to it. I'm using a Hori arcade pad. So, like, on a normal game that's not weird and janky like this one, uh, it plays like butter. Uh, Guilty Gear, uh, Reload, XX, whatever, Accent Core, featuring Dante from Devil May Cry and Knuckles. Um, <laughs> that one plays like butter on this thing. And it's funny because I've been using it more as a PC pad as opposed to a game pad for the uh, Switch, which is kind of funny. <laughs> But I, actually, I'm pretty sure though, like a lot of my um, classic games, like Waku Waku 7 and whatnot, play really well with this thing. I look forward to actually playing those eventually. Hugh, Hugh, Hugh. Okay. Oh boy. Oh boy. Okay, we can do it. Oh my god, June. It's like you know I'm weak against your coolness. 
I forgot to save state, so I'm gonna have to do it with like a loss. That's fine. We'll do it right here. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, let's try it this way. Okay, let's see if I can get her kind of stuck in the corner thing that I do. Ooh, she knows that block. Oh my god, June! Fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! That legitimately grabbed me? Bullshit blazing! <laughs> oh my god! June, why are you like this? I won by slippy slaps though at least, that's good. Okay, it's not it's not complete bunk yet, but we are saving state because Jesus Christ. Okay. God, my move not working when I need it to, because it's fucking me over. Oh god, she got me trapped. Okay. There we go. Slippy slaps. Okay. Let's see if I can get her kind of trapped in this conundrum. Oh my god, please. Bless. Oh, blessed be. Come on. No! Get away from me, you bully! <laughs> I got her, I got her, I got her, I got her. Okay, it's fine. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Whew! Bum, bum, bum. Actually, next time I do a Choose Your Fighter art stream, I plan on drawing Ayako. Because uh, right now I don't got any requests, so it's all good. <laughs> I finally caught up. Which reminds me, I gotta post them up now that I think about it. Ha! Huh. Okay. I think I'll do, uh... Yeah. Okay. Sorry, it's funny how I just think about things that I need to do. So I'm just, like, thinking about them. It's kind of funny. There we go. See, I too have a cool kick move. I could get it to work. It's amazing! <laughs> oh god. Oh god. <laughs> On little legs. <laughs> there we go. Woo! <laughs> Did it. Okay. Save state because obviously. Ooh. God damn. Can I trap her? Nope, no corner traps. Tried to. I tried, y'all. I tried. That's okay. You know what? Jumping seems efficient. Oh god. Maybe not. Ow. Frick. Oh, she got me. That's okay. We still got another round. Do, 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 Oh my god, that... Mm. Okay, that's ice when that one hits proper and actually works. Oh god. Can I get her in the trap? Ah. Okay, my normal seem to be kicking her out. Damn! Okay, I'll be back. Ah! <laughs> That actually did not take long at all. Beep. <laughs> yeah, I could just do a bit like, oh, if you see here, you could see the hentai there. Oh my god, look at the butthole there. And oh, there's, uh, there's, 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 there's happy Ayako and there's angry Tarumi. Okay, that's, 
That was my mouse bit. Thank you. Guess we're gonna do save state right there too. <laughs> Yumiko seems to be the uh, one that they do a sub boss a lot in this. I mean that's fine. They don't actually have a full story mode like they do in the other ones though, so you don't really get to know her. <laughs> But I shouldn't say that because they did make like a doujinshi or something like that. Like official doujinshi stuff. Yes, there's uh, like there's humor, there's hentai, there's normal stories too. But I know that there's like a lot of like big player characters. Whoa. Okay. Oh my god. Okay, we can get her. Oh, me meow. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh. You take too long charging. I don't know what happened there. <laughs> she just kind of like went towards me in a zoom and she just kind of flew that way and died. I'll take it. <laughs> I'll take it. It's fine. I'll take it. Pew, pew, pew. Oh, safe state. Actually, wait, shit. No, I made a promise. I'm getting close to the finale on this. That I need to check out my Xbox 360. And uh, we're going to do Dead or Alive uh, 4. That's right. That was the promise. I remember. Because I think this is going to finish before Alpha. So, yeah. Right, right. That is the promise. Sorry, I just remembered. But you know what? You know what? If Dead or Alive 4 doesn't work... I have a backup plan, but I'll reveal that in the finale if that's the case. I'll be testing it out when I get into my next recording session for this game. Because I'll be doing like the last three in a row probably. So, yeah! <laughs> Actually, I might do three this session and then I have two for the last one because the last one last last one I have to leave the hentai on <laughs> so yeah <laughs> shit I forgot to save didn't I that's fine I can do that right now after that save <laughs> there we go it's fine oh those tornadoes So you do the slippy slaps on her. Go Ayako. Disco Queen. I like her. <laughs> She's fun. Just sucks that her stage is like blinding, but you know, it's nice to have it not blinding here. Ooh, when I get to the finale, you know what? Pre pre-warning. Pre-warning. Oh god. Um oh. I never saw that super before. I'll be back, but pre-warning. <sighs> Finale will have probably a seizure warning. <laughs> anyway, I'll be back. Hey, that was really quick. <laughs> All right, everyone. We defeated Katoe with Ayako, our disco queen. She looks friendly. <laughs> oh, look at her. She's so happy. I think she's laughing. Oh! <laughs> Alright, she's happy though. Yay, Ayako's happy. We're all happy. <laughs> I like our self-professed disco queen. She's pretty cool. I wonder if I could find any character stuff while, uh, you know, Katoe dies and tells, uh, what's her name, Yumiko, that she's like the best character in the world. Oh, uh, let's see. Advanced. Wait, VG2. Dun dun. Bout of the Cabalistic Goddess. Go! Wow, I am. <laughs> if you search this game, it, all my Let's Plays come up. Well, it's good to know I got the Google Analytics on my part. 
Okay, do they have a Wikipedia? Is there a wi- My god, my Twitter's even featured as a major player. That is so funny. <laughs> okay, Veritable Geo Fandom. Okay. Oh, 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 oh. okay, okay. Ayako. When I think of this. Well, she got so- uh, Okay, this wiki's not that great. Never mind. Wow, she got nothing, huh? Well, you know what? I tried. <laughs> I tried. I tried to get his info, and all I came up with was blank page. Because I guess no one wanted to learn about the Bout of the Cabalgustic Goddess. But I also learned that I am Tay! Thumbs up, Yuka. Anyways, I learned that I am the number one search show up for this series. So I am glad that I did my part to let people know about this game. <laughs> oh, honestly, though, I really enjoy this series. I, I, sad what happened to it, but... God, it came out from the gutters. Became something cool. It got dragged back into the gutter again. God damn it. Anyways, this is Edgy Berserker signing off on VG2. Bow to the Cabalistic Goddess. Till next episode, I will see y'all later. Bye now.